And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Perth uh, for the Perth Mercure um, City of Perth Masters. Uh, I'm here in the commentary booth with uh, Pete Smith. Good afternoon, all. And we're looking forward to uh, a great afternoon in curling uh, between uh, a couple of young teams that have uh, met before. We've got Team Harsh uh, from Germany and we've got Team White from Scotland. And uh, I think this is uh, uh, going to be quite a, a matchup between the two teams. Uh, we've got uh, Team Harsh here. Uh, we've got Magnus uh, Suter at lead. We've got uh, Joshua Suter at second. Claudius Harsh, uh, who's going to be skiffing, throwing third stones. And we've got Sixton uh, Totsik uh, throwing four stones. So uh, for Team White here, we've got you and Kyle. Uh, who's a uh, young curler from uh, Stranra. Stranra, yeah. He's got James Craig uh, from uh, Forfar. Uh, we've got uh, Duncan McFadgen, uh, who's our Perth curler, and then Ross White uh, from Dumfries. Yeah, and um, you do know young James Craig, his grandfather, is the World Outdoor Champion? I did not know that, no. Yeah, wow. last time the grand <laughs> match was played in 1978 or 79, his granddad Bobby won the Outdoor World Championship. Fantastic, and that's James Craig we see in the head there uh, as the teams throw for uh, uh, Hammer uh, and for last stone draw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes! Yeah, good. Yeah, that's kind of Yeah, and that looks like. Is that covering the pin? Yeah, so they both have a go at drawing the button here to see who gets the last stone advantage at the first end. And that looks like Team White absolutely nailed that right on the pin, so... Yeah, so they get last stone. Um, the other team came up short, a bit short of the rings. So last stone advantage in the end game. Um, pretty important, I think, although the five guard um, rule, five stone rule, um, probably means that the, the toss isn't as big an advantage as it used to be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think a lot of teams are starting to get used to this uh, five rock rule um, and exactly how to play, make it work for you and uh, how to play against it. It's all what to do with that fifth stone. Yeah, I'm sure all these young guys have picked up on this five rock rule um, quite quickly, but actually played with um, Mike Hay, a well-known name, a couple of weeks ago up in Aberdeen, and Mike was still asking us to hit stones four and five, so we were frantically waving at the other end, but getting to change his tactics. So. <laughs> yeah, but these younger guys are all well used to playing this five rock roll. Yeah, that's just been introduced uh, a few years ago now. They tried it out on a few of the slams out in Canada before they introduced it um, across the board, but I think all the, all the yes major sir. tournaments are now Accepting uh, that that's the accepted rule now. So we must have got that wrong. This is harsh now. Drawing for last stone advantage. So Ross White pretty much put it on the pin in the middle. And harsh needs to get closer than that if he wants last stone advantage. Volcanic. It's really well down to the supers now from here on. Scheiße. Wollen wir drei Sitzen? Sorry. Sorry. Ja. 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 So that was the first one, um, they do get a practice stone, um, so it looks like uh, they're going back up, they'll get a chance to throw that again. And we can hear hopefully quite a lot of what they're saying out on the ice, we've got all the teams mic'd up um, uh, for the coverage here, so uh, I don't know how good your German is, Pete, but uh, we'll be able to hear what uh, Team Harsh are saying. Uh, I, I, know, I know what sweet means in German, that's about <laughs> it. Or hurry hard. So here we go for real this time. Just calling the ice in a little bit from the last stone. So interesting, he's throwing an intern. That must be his favourite handle because um, 
Ross White through an out turn. Rolling it! Oh. And the sweeper's right on this. Shawin! It's Kirk always very Kirk. difficult to get the ice conditions okay. straight off. You know, they all, all the teams do get a practice uh, beforehand, but um, oh, this looks oh, like it needs to swing quite a bit. A if it's going to get near the weight, looks not bad, but the line's not brilliant. Yeah, just okay, never yeah. got that draw again. But uh, yeah. yeah, so it looks like Team White uh, um, will take the hammer after all. So as the teams prepare and just uh, go through their final preparations, um, see uh, Grant Hardy at the back wishing Team White well. Uh, he's obviously playing uh, in the later uh, rounds. I think he's got a bye in the first round. The name Suter brings back memories. Many years ago, there was an elite Suter played for Germany in the Europeans and World Championships who, who was extremely enthusiastic in his curling. And I'm just wondering if these two guys that are playing for the German team are related to him. So hopefully we'll find that out over the weekend. And that's the uh, teams getting down to it now. Handshakes are done. And this is the first game uh, in uh, a triple knockout uh, here at Perth. So that's where the format the Perth Masters takes. Uh, you're guaranteed a minimum of three games. Uh, and the longer you stay in the, the high road, the longer you keep winning, the less games you play and uh, until you get down to the C road. And then you have to essentially play back-to-back -back games right the way through to get into any chance of the quarterfinals. So all, all teams would, uh, would like to win, uh, obviously, and keep on the, the A road as long as possible uh, because it's a long uh, long weekend otherwise yeah i think that most of the teams like a a triple knockout format they've got a couple of lives so they can afford to lose a couple of games and still be in the competition but as you say if you lose a game or you lose two games uh, you can get to saturday and sunday and, and never be off the ice if you keep winning so you really ideally, as you said, want to stay in the hero as, as long as possible. Okay, and here's Magnus Suter getting us started, uh, throwing redstones away from the bar here in Perth. And just looking to bring that one right into the house. Yeah, a little bit defensive here with the first rock. And he's decided to throw well, it's gone deep as well, but he's decided to throw it in the house rather than throw a guard up. Straight away, Ross says, I want a guard, so he's going aggressive. So, yeah, and I think that's the, again, another element of that five rock rule we were talking about earlier is it does allow you to, to be a lot more aggressive and, uh, and get those guards um, before people can start peeling them off. Three. Three. Gives you more confidence to do this, uh, make this kind of play. Normally, like you say, people they would just go straight away and hit that. The first couple of ends, you would see a lot of hitting and a lot of. Uh, it's trying. Very defensive play, but that ice looks really quick today. Yeah, it's okay, he's got it short. Maybe a little bit close, but quite difficult to get around that and get buried in front of the tee because you really don't want to be anything behind the tee when you've got last roll. So, as we are just starting the first end here, Magnus Suter's second stone. We are delighted to bring you today's coverage of the 2019 Mercure Perth Masters curling from the Dure Centre in Perth in Scotland. We are proud to be part of the World Curling Tour and today's coverage is brought to you with the support of the World Curling Federation uh, who are uh, fantastic supporters of this event and uh, I'll allow uh, a lot of great coverage uh, at this event this year in 22 hours of curling. Um, and these events are uh, as always, are not possible without the support of uh, our long-standing title sponsor in the Mercure City Mills Hotel in Perth, um, who have been fantastic through the years uh, in helping us put this on and attracting the top teams uh, from around the world. And also our other sponsors, Perth and Kinross Council, Perth Honda, Inside Coaches, Live Active Leisure, um, who own and run the rink here, and the World Curling Tour and the World Curling Federation. So I think uh, it's great to mention all these people who 
who actually make these events possible and uh, to bring you some great curling here from Perth to, to come down and watch this free event, um, to come down and watch some of the top curlers in Europe and around the world. Uh, it's, uh, it's a fantastic thing. Yeah, it's a nice shot there, a nice wee hit and roll in behind the corner guard. Meant yellow looks to be in, so red going defensive and going to throw a, a guard to try and guard that red rock that we've already got in the house. So yeah, a bit of a change of tack already. I think that the, the first stone of Ewan's being so close to the rings, I think uh, they don't want to go after that yellow behind it because if they hit that guard at this stage, then they know it's just going to be replaced. Uh, and it's just that too tight round. They can't obviously take both those yellows out. It does look like a straightforward double uh, for later in the game, but that's another mistake there. It's a little bit deep for this ice. Yeah, that's not, not really the ideal shot at the moment. He would really a short stone short of the house so he can have something to play with and get round. This gives um, White's team the opportunity to take a double and lie to. So James Craig throwing second stones here. And Duncan sweeping hard, trying to keep that straight. It's a nice way. Yeah, it's lovely. Just let them control it all the way. Yeah, lovely shot there. Now Harsh always is in a bit of trouble, I would suggest, already. We've only had three or four stones each, and um, two yellows in the house, one guarded. Yeah, and if you were going to, nobody, you never want to lose a two, but if you're going to, you know, the first end's probably the yep. one to do it. You've got time to come back then. You don't want to do it then in the seventh. Hard, 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 go two down, hard, you'd want to hard, play, but hard, yeah, he wouldn't, hard, this isn't going quite hard, how he would like. Hard, and they're hard, sweeping this hard, one hard to keep it straight as well. Hard, Looks like it's over curling. Yeah. Kay. And some of you may wonder why when the, the skip is shouting sweep, there's only one sweeper um, sweeping it. It's because um, the guy who was sweeping it keeps the stone straighter and if the other sweeper had joined in then the theory is he would have actually made the stone swing rather than stay straight so it's where you put the heat into the stone um, you can make the stone stay straight or curl. Lovely, lovely slide there from James. Just look Five. really in control of that Five. stone when he slides out. Yeah. Five's good. I'm not sure he got that slide from his father. <laughs> and they're, as you can see, they're both sweeping it there, and that's just for distance. You know, when they're both uh, plowing into it like that, it melts the ice a little bit more, uh, and just lets the stone glide over the top of the pebble. And just gets the distance there. So they were just looking to get that into the house level with the other one. Yeah, so Team Harsh now looking at a possible treble here. Going to hit this short, it's short of the rings. Probably hit about three quarters of it. Take those two and roll across and take the third one at the same time. So this would be a great shot if he makes that. And they're sweeping it straight away. Well, looks like it might be, you know, he's got two of them anyway, but he's left a guard. Yeah, that's an okay shot, two out of four probably for that one. Really, you wanted to hit ah, that other side and either roll into the house or take all three of the yellows. And you can see Ross indicating there to Duncan. Looks like he just wants to come round that red. This is a relatively new team just put together for this season. Not been together long, although they've curled uh, in different teams at the same tournaments. Uh, not the time, but uh, Ross is obviously fifth man at the uh, European Championships as well with uh, Bruce Mowat's team when they won gold. So Ross does have a gold medal to his name, which is great, and it would be a great experience being out there for him as well. Coming down, Fargin throwing this out to him, bro, trying to hide behind the red. So we need to get this to try and curl a bit. Yeah, they're trying to get it as deep as possible here. Just to get it right around there. I came down more than I thought. Oh, shit. Hey, come on. 
No, I don't think the guys are remembering their uh, mic'd up here. A couple of Team White have had their Christmas haircuts. <laughs> you guys stand there together. Yeah. Right, so it looks like an out turn. I'm guessing probably back ring hack weight going for a tap and see if he can get a bit of cover behind his own red skin there. So Claudius, Claudius, harsh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Throwing third stones whoa, today. Bobby. Whoa. Now they need to make it swing so the sweeper on the right hand side as you look at it is sweeping to try and make the stone curl so he can get a roll. Yeah, and he's rolling out into the open. And uh, you can see when they were sweeping that stone, even though they didn't get it tucked behind, obviously sweeping it away from the corner guard, make the roll in behind the guard that little bit harder. Because uh, that's what Ross would love to do is hit that and just roll across. And you can see he's playing a hack weight, just a little bit down weight. I think it's just to try and get a little bit of that curl and let the sweepers control that stone uh, a little bit more. And you think hack weight because he tapped his foot there? That's the signal for a lot of the teams to for hack weight, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And when you say hack weight, that means when the, the thrower throws a stone, he wants a stone to ultimately reach the hack, which is the bit they deliver the stone from. So it's, it's enough to knock the opposition stone out of the play and lie, lie about themselves. But unfortunately for... Team White, that was wide and didn't get the result he was after. So yeah, still didn't get the draw even at that lower weight. So the, the ice being a little bit straighter here than I think maybe they would expect in Perth. I think uh, we're quite lucky to have really good swinging ice in Perth. And I think they maybe expected that to take off a little bit more and it never really did. Um, and uh, caught the outside of the stone and rolled out. So yeah, that's uh, not ideal. But no, good, a, good opportunity to pin a two up at the first end. Uh, looks like it's gone. So... Team Harsh now going to play a, a hit and look roll, um, if possible, hit about three quarters of this and roll across behind their own red. But what they ideally want to do is lie in the house somewhere to force oh, White to hit rather than draw. And on these eight-end games, Pete, do you think uh, is it better to, to take your one or to blank this if possible? Will Ross be looking for a blank here? or? Um, for me, I, ideally you blank one and then you take last stone at two, four, six and eight and give the opposition last stone at um, three, five and seven. So in theory you get four goes with last stone and more chance to score than your opposition. But um, it's, Ross will still be looking to try and get a two here. He wants to try and bury this um, rock behind his own red one. Uh, yeah. If you can get a two, great. If not, then yeah, let's go for the blank and we'll carry the advantage into the second end. Yeah, they're not giving up on the two just yet. Um, are we draw around this red? And if you're wondering what the hammer is on the board behind, um, that signifies that Team White playing yellow have got last stone advantage. Um, traditionally, it's been a hammer. It's called the hammer, so that's what's pinned Lines up on good. the board. Hammer nine, seven. Close. Oh. Six, seven. You're in right now. You're in right now. Line's good. Seven, only eight. Can, only if you can. Still you in. Seven. Yep, eight, 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 eight. in Bury. Yep. So sweepers are shouting seven eight, which means T line, T line Hard. plus, and ideally he wants us in Hard front of the T. He also wants to try and bury it. So a little bit of corner. Trying here. to get it curled. It's not it's probably half covered yeah. there. Three quarters. You see a fair bit because it had to go a fair bit past the guard to get round it as well. And it passed the guard by a good bit. So I think they could have they could have maybe got away with a little bit less ice, but yeah, yeah, it's always hard rock. in that it's first end. Yeah, difficult as you say, first end, and I think it's a good, pretty good position. It puts yeah, thoughts yeah. in the opposition head. Do I come and tap this out? Do I try and draw to it? And it looks like he's going to try and tap it out with that ice. Oh, not too much yeah. about sixth, and he yeah. was the fifth right. man whoa, when they arrived whoa, here. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. playing last whoa, rocks in this whoa, first yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah, there was a last minute whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, lineup change yeah. uh, for Team Harsh. Whoa, 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 and 16. Yeah, okay. uh, shot. Totsik uh, was called in at the last minute nice so uh, for Gianluca Hag, who was supposed to be playing. So, um, But yeah, looks like he's uh, he's playing well. He played a great shot there. So yeah, Just cleared the guard by a couple of inches. So I'm guessing Ross will play the peel weight, um, half this out, and carry the hammer into the second end. 
time clocks, they look like the similar times they've used. Yellow's used slightly more time um, than red. Uh, and the reason for time clocks? So, yeah, the time clocks are in use. Uh, um, we've had them for a couple of years now at the, at the Masters. Um, the, uh, they're thinking time um, clocks, and it's uh, 30 minutes, uh, I think, per team uh, on, the, on the time clocks. Uh, to try and just uh, keep the game flowing, um, especially when they're televised and we're live streaming, you know, uh, a lot of the other games don't have time clocks, we don't have them across the board, so they've only got them on the, um, the two possible uh, uh, sheets that we're uh, running to try to run to time. Um, but uh, at all the major tournaments, there are these guys will be used to it, they're, they've got time clocks at all the worlds and everywhere, and, uh, everywhere now. So. Uh, yeah, it'll be something they're used to. They get a minute between ends, as you can see, uh, potentially up on the board there. Uh, and then they get the, the rest of that time is thinking time. And generally speaking, they, you know, teams very rarely run out uh, of time. So, No, you see one or two getting towards the last seconds and you certainly don't want to run out, run out of time because if you run out of time, then the opposition um, effectively have won the game because they can continue playing. Yeah. And uh, they are allowed one timeout uh, across those eight ends as well. So if you are running out of time and you need a lot of time to think, you get a timeout. You can get your coach down, um, and uh, that you get a minute to get your coach out onto the out onto the ice and uh, give you a bit of advice. And that can help uh, if you are running out of time as well. Some some teams just call timeout just because they're running short on time and just want that bit more discussion than necessarily they need the coach uh, to be there. So here we are in the second end uh, of uh, quite the harsh Scotland v Germany. Yeah. Throwing an turn and he's going into the rings again. So again, quite defensive. I'm sure Ross will throw a guard up again to look to get his two. <laughs> yeah, they're just not getting their weight. I think there's a few gone deep of the tee line there. I think even if they did want it in the house, they still want that top tee, um, which is in front of the uh, the line that runs across the middle of the the house there. Anything behind really doesn't help them. I Griff, three. Tight. Whoa. Tight. Very tight. Yeah. Almost done. Yeah, like four five. Oh, yeah, like down there. And they're five. in the rings, which is not great because it gives uh, Team Marsh the opportunity to hit it and means that um, the opportunity to throw the guard up is gone. It's definitely in the rings. Yeah, and, and you do find that um, after the first end and you've thrown a few stones and uh, the ice starts to speed up that little bit more um, so once the pebble starts to flatten. It's fast because it's not curling as much. Um, so it's like even faster. <laughs> And you can hear Ross saying there it's not curling as much as he's expecting either. So obviously when that line's straighter, um, it's not travelling as far and so uh, and the distance is further. So that's why they're going out a little bit deeper. But these guys are are, uh, are really good. They'll be able to adjust to that. Um, and Ross will need to adjust to that with his ice and, uh, and the throwers obviously as well. So I think you'll see a lot more sweeping coming up. I think you'll see a lot more... Uh, of these uh, stone throwers throwing it to the sweepers and letting them take it in because it does look really fast out there. I've not um, timed a stone yet, but um, looking really quick today. Most of these teams, I think, will they time tee to hog, do you think? Yeah, you see that a lot now, the skips especially, they're, they're timing tee to um, hog to hog, actually. You see a lot of the skips timing now, um, hog to hog. Uh, just two, three. Lines perfect. Lines two. To get that speed, but yeah, tee to hog is obviously what the sweepers are timing. Because yeah, that gives them an early indication of where the stone will arrive at the other end. So you time it from the, the tee line in the first house they pass through when they're sliding to the hog line, which is the blue line across the ice. And they, they can then um, give a very good indication of where that stone will arrive at the other end of the yeah. ice. And give a heads up to the skip so you can then judge it online and they can judge the way. So a good adjustment there from Ewan. Uh, got that stone in a good position there. With his second. And we've got the first stone now from Josh Suter. So these guys have had a, um, a great year as well. They've uh, a young team uh, curled around the world. Um, oh, and they've won oh. the German men's championships as well, so they beat the, the reigning champions, Berman, um, who were here last year at the Perth Masters um, and always do very well. 
and they were playing in the Europeans as well. So uh, these guys are obviously coming on to a game this year and they'll be looking forward to, uh, to this event where they get to match up some of the top teams from uh, around Scotland and around the world. And I think it's going to be difficult to pick a winner this year, Pete. I don't know if uh, if you've got any favourites out there, but you know you've got three of the top Scottish teams, uh, Scottish men's teams out there just now. You've got uh, Ross Patterson, who's obviously just off the back of a win in Canada, uh, and you've got uh, uh, Glenn Muirhead, uh, who's curling really well, and again off uh, off some great wins out in Canada and. Uh, and Bruce Mowat as well, who got to the final uh, and was beaten by Ross Patterson in the, the slam, but is also the current European yeah. gold medal yeah. winner. So. December is a great month for Scottish curling. As you said, um, Team Mowat won the Europeans. Um, Muirhead won a competition in yeah. Canada, and Ross Hard Patterson moving. got the final and then Hard. won a slam competition. So Hard. it's the yeah. first time ever there have been two Scottish teams Hard. in the final. So, yeah, th those Hard. three Scottish teams you mentioned. Um, also got Ilstrud from uh, Norway, Ready, guys. who's always there Ready. thereabouts and has knows Perth ice and the stones and I'm sure he's quite comfortable in the environment around about here. So Sorry. Schwaller's Oops. another name from Switzerland. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, curling really well again this year and uh, due to a Canadian team pulling out and not being able to make the tournament this year, they get a bye onto the second round as well. So they've got a slightly easier path than they would have had otherwise. Yeah, that's a nice um, start for them. Right. So Please. anyway, they like the caught, go. Oh, Easy. Germany caught the guard Clean. there. And, um, Dunk. Clean. Scotland looking to hit to lie. Team White looking to hit to lie too. This looks a nice, nice way to try and get moving. the curl. It's okay. Yeah, good Drop result. Him. Yeah. They don't seem to be getting the draw they're expecting, I think, uh, at it's these different weights. Uh, and they are sweeping a lot to get that extra curl. Um, it's not quite catching the ice just right You're yet. Only up a wee bit. You want to They're sitting well. Yeah, well, this is a bit like arena ice, isn't it? When, when you throw down weight, you get a draw. Um, as soon as you start putting any weight at all on the stone, it straightens up, and then once you get it to hit or peel, it's pretty much dead straight. Um, but very quick, so when it's... When we're talking quick, it means the stone um, actually takes longer to get from one end to the other. Uh, and then the heads where the stones, and the houses where the stones are, are very quick. So you need to be more accurate when you're hitting. Whoa, whoa, the whoa. stone will roll further after it's hit. Yep, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, absolutely. Roll it. Nice shot. Oh, that is an excellent shot. Yeah, well played. That's exactly where they wanted it, buried right behind that yellow there, so they'll be very pleased with that. Oh, bit of a mic issue going on. Yeah, that's young Joshua. Getting help from his teammate. Here we go, he's going for the run back. Straight run back, yellow, 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 onto red to lie two. Yeah, I don't think they've got a choice here, I think that's what they have. They're going to have to play that. A bit of trouble here. What's the roll? What's the roll? Oh, if this hangs around, that's going to be a great shot. Is it going to hang around? Just out. That's unlucky there. No, it was a good shot, though. Yeah, Primary objective good. met, which was to get rid of that redstone behind the yellow. So. Back to uh, Germany to respond. You're like firm batter, Everton. Let's see. Claudius Harsh with. Uh, Second of his stones. Oh, okay, the guy. Yeah, I think he really needs to try and hit this roll in the way into the middle, because if he hits some rolls the other way, it's going to be out of the house. So to keep a bit of pressure on Team White, he needs to you know, hit right in the nose, or hit the roll slightly. Hard! Hard! Whoa, 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 Bobby! Whoa! Yeah, I like the look of this. Again, they're sweeping for that extra curl, but that's good. That's a great shot. And the thing is, Ross is going to—he's going to can't really hit that and roll in behind the guard, or he's not going to get into the rings. That's what he's looking at there. He's got to roll slightly to the left, and uh, that's going to bring it more out into the open. Uh, so it's not to be able to even just get a bite. That's what he's going to have to do. And I think that's what he'd like if the stone was half in. Uh, 
A nose hit isn't any good for her. She's got to roll to sit shot. Lifts. Last week. Yep. Soft body here. Hard. Yeah, the communication here between body the just skip hard and the right super. So they're shouting oh, to tell him what the weight is so he can judge the line. So they're shouting down a bit in the last one. So the skip knows that it's probably going to draw a bit more than the first Yeah, one. and that's a great shot. So you can see it's just biting in the rings there and he's indicating that uh, Harsh is indicating he's going to have to roll right across the house there um, to get in the uh, and get a shot here. Uh, makes it just that little bit more difficult. You can't just hit this on the nose. It's got to be a... or hit it too thin. So that was a good shot there yeah, from Duncan. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You can this straight. So it must be over Hurt. curling. Go, come Hurt. Yoshi. Hurt. 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 They don't want to know this. Mixture there. of German and English Hurt. here. Don't nice notice that. <laughs> That's a good shot there. Yes, yeah, so I'm. I tend to find out. We used to play against these guys. It was all in their native tongue until it got really needing sweep, and then the hurry hard bit came out. Yeah, to motivate the sweepers even more. Yeah, or he'll try either the freeze, or he'll try and bump there. Just don't know where we can roll. We can roll anyway. So that some good prize men off on offer um, this week at the Mercure Masters. The winner will pick up um, just over 7,000, which is fantastic prize money for one of these teams to walk away with. The runner-up gets four and a half. And then if you manage to get the semi-finals, you'll have two semi It should move nice this way. So it should be pretty straight. Really yeah, good pot that the um, committee and sponsors have managed to put together here. The Mercure Masters. Could go round if he run, make the run and the money is uh, obviously nice, but uh, I think ultimately the, a lot of these teams are playing for the points, and uh, I think the the multiply the the money with the coefficient from the tournament, and you know they they tra they work out and translate depending on the strength of field um, and how much money that the the prize money is. Is that you uh, you work out how many points that you get on the World Curling oh, Tour as well, and so. They'll have an eye on that as well, and that makes a difference, and and that's uh, part of what attracts a lot of the top teams here. Um, yep. Uh, two pair. Whoa. Yeah, because these points Whoa. then mean that they can Whoa. get uh, invitations Whoa. to some of the um, possibly Good ultimately job. these guys are aiming to get into some of the big slam competitions in Canada. Yeah, absolutely. So he's signalled for a hit and roll right behind the hill. This will be a difficult one to judge the roll here because he's got to roll a good six, seven feet across the house to get behind that corner guard. Well, let's see how he gets on. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Oh, close. Yeah. close. Yeah, hard, hard. This go, is going to be hard, a great hard, effort, they're sweeping it, go, looks like go, it's got behind hard. there, and that is a great shot, nice shot. that is shot. precision curling there, Sorry. that looks Sorry. like, Sorry. that is right behind the yellow there, I don't know if they'll be able to see much of that at all, if we can get a slightly wider angle we'll be able to, he's signalling a hit, so he must yeah, be able to see some of this, we're not, to, to let everybody know, we're not sitting right behind the game, so it's actually yeah, difficult for us to get a complete line on that, but I think that's fairly open, um, they've signalled a hit, and I'm not, he won't be too disappointed if he takes his one here, because that means he's got last stone in theory at all the even ends. Yeah, so. Bill. Yeah, it's it looks like, yep. yeah, it's big weight. It looks like he's trying to peel this out. I don't know if he's bothered about Hard. hanging around. No. He's just going to hit it and go. Yeah. Nice shot. Okay. Blank end, and then see if we can get her two at the next end. So, first two ends are blanks. Um, we move on to the third end. Yeah, and they've been they've been kind of nearly ends. They've not been very defensive a lot of the time when the the first team gets in at the the house with the first stone and you start hitting it. But Ross has tried, to, you know, putting up a couple of guards. It's just that they've gone deep. They've just not been quite right and where he needs them, uh, and they've not really taken advantage of that uh, that five rock rule yet, uh, and got managed to get guards across. Um, but uh, now you mentioned Ro um, Ross's team are a um, good young team, and they've got together from length and breadth of Scotland. Really, we've got uh, Ewan Cow from Stranraer, James Craig um, from Forfar, Duncan McFadden local, who's Perth based, and Ross White from Dumfries. 
So I'm guessing these guys have played against each other, know each other from juniors and school competitions over the years, and they've got together as a four to um, compete at the highest level. Yeah, they they get put together. I mean, the the academy, um, the RCC put together the uh, academies and uh, and try and match up teams now uh, and from across the country. It's not local based like it used to be. Used to get four curlers that all curled at the same rink or very close by, uh, and used to form teams there. They, they now go away to academies and uh, and teams are put together based on their strengths and their psychological profiles and all these sorts of things now. Don't want too many hotheads in the same team. Yeah. <laughs> and Duncan, uh, he was fifth man at the at the World um, Junior Championships where uh, when Ross was playing uh, off in Aberdeen. So uh, they know each other. Uh, uh, quite well and I've spent a lot of time together already so um, that's Ross Micro and uh, Duncan at three so that's a good partnership there two, three. and they curling. recently won whoa, the whoa, European whoa. World Curling event at Brayhead for Junior Still World three. Curling Still three. Still three. so they're Still performing three. at a high Still level already even though they are a new team um, yeah, like you say they know each other from a lot of these events it looks like Ewan's found his way great guard there yeah so team White going aggressive again. I think actually Horst tried to put a guard on that time, but it just slipped so a bit deep. So, so fast. You know, yeah. he's yeah. trying to come around it now. So that's bringing the game into the house, which likelihood of a multiple score, unlikely. Oh, that's kürzer. No longer. It's active, guys. It's active. And this is good practice for uh, Team White, who've got the World Juniors at the end of, uh, end of the month. So this is going to be some high-class competition for them to get some great game time here uh, at the Masters. And that's what a lot of these teams use this for. They've got a lot of national championships coming up around the world. Um, and unfortunately, that's why Nicholas Adin, last year's champion, can't make it to the event this year. He's got his national championships got moved uh, to coincide with this uh, weekend, so he couldn't make it back in time. So unfortunately, he's not going to be here this year. Um, and that's uh, was a European silver medalist. That's who uh, Bruce Bowett beat in the, the Europeans this year as well. So they're, they're again another team on top form. I think there's so many events now, it's difficult for some of the national associations to fit in their actual championships. I don't know how many teams compete in that in Sweden. Um, I'm guessing it'll be 8 to 10 James. national championship they'll play over the weekend. So yeah. The winner then going to European Worlds. Absolutely, it's a, it's a really enough. tight schedule. That's fine. And you have to uh, choose very carefully what events that you want to go to and what you want to play in, and you plan it all in advance. And these guys are already probably thinking about next year um, at the moment and what events. So very soon after this season's done, you have to get your next season all planned out and entries put in for events in Switzerland or Norway or under 21s or seniors or men's. You've got to decide what you want to play in. And what you can afford to play in. Indeed, what you can afford to play in. Not everybody gets funding. Here's a nice shot. Oh, it's really good. Yes, popped out the other side there. Yeah, yeah, as I said earlier, these heads, um, with the ice being so quick, are really quick. So the stone's rolling a long way and therefore it's quite difficult to judge exactly where you want to hit to get the roll to the, the point in the house where you're looking to go to. Right there. Yep, make it good. Yeah, so Ross deciding to Stop ignore there. those stones. They look pretty he's flat. They look like they're both around about the T line, so I don't think there's a, a double on there. So he's just trying to come around the guard, out, count that, that red, that wide red, uh, and sit second shot, uh, and then make Germany make a play. And uh, are you going to guard up that red, or are you going to run the, the guard back? Because this will be the, the fifth rock now. And he knows this bit of ice, this is the same that. draw that you played at the first end, if Wait you remember, he was trying to get it. Hard line! Uh, yes! Seven! Eight! Young kid then! Nine, ten! Well then! Ten! Awesome! Mm, calling the way up, nine, ten is back ring. Whoa! So, we're calling that right up, this could curl ten, right out. Just one first, the first on the inside. Okay. It's not a great wow. result for um, Team no. White. No. See Germany. 
Hirsch they're now looking them. to put one back where oh. Team White were. Yeah. Put, get three well, rats in the house, which means that um, okay. Ross is going to be chasing the rest of this end of this hunt. What's that today? Ten. Well, then, yeah. Länge ist gut! Gehen von Länge ist gut! Länge ist gut! Nur hier hin! Nur weißer! Nur von Hat, oh. hat safety! Oh. Von acht. So they're saying there's no von line. They're needing it to curl a bit more, but they don't want it to go any deeper, so they're not sweeping, they're just trying to let it draw. Because they know it's already big. Okay, sorry. That's an advantage ah, to team weight. Ah, Anything behind the team when you've last on it. Yeah, I think oh, okay. he's going to be looking at tapping one red and rolling in front of the other one here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think he, yeah, he's yeah. got exactly what he's looking at off that wide red. His barrier! Use that red as backing um, take this or move. to make it difficult oh, take for Harsh to get um, team white's rock out if he moves oh, the and roll here. Okay. So James Craig here with the yeah, second stone. Oh. Looking to get a hit and roll Clean. Yep. off this wide red. Yeah. Hard. And they're sweeping it straight. Hard. Hard. Looks like it's taking the curl this time. Hard. Just past that guard is looking pretty good. That's not bad. I think they would have liked to caught a little bit more of that stone but and sit right on top of the red. But that's not bad. He's fully guarded there just now. So. Yeah, nice shot. A few options there. Hit the angle he got or hit yeah. a bit more and roll in front. So nice result. Bit of pressure now in Germany. Yeah, yeah, I know that it's fast. I know that it's fucking fast. I play it slowly. I don't think I'll play it too slowly. Okay. 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 You see them pointing up there, they think that's that's heavy. Yeah, they need to sweep it past the guard, but uh, get it as close as they can, but it looks like it is too heavy, they're gonna yellow's gonna bounce off. And they really wanted to sit right on top of that yellow to make the, the hit take away the hit and uh, Use that back yellow as a catching stone. But now we've got two reds out in the open here. I think looking to hit them. They're only calling a hack weight at this. Yeah, I think that would that was a piece that was asked for. He took center ice there. Nice hack. Still yeah. out, so they're having a bit of a laugh. The, um, the two German guys at the back there, thinking slightly heavier than I meant, but we got away with it. It's good they can laugh about it, though, Pete. You know, oh, <laughs> there are some teams take this thing a, a, a bit far, a far too Whoa! seriously, and I think uh, <laughs> when you play a stone like that, that uh, you do have to have a laugh at it. A hack weight draw. We've all done it. Hard! Keep going, James. Hard! It's really good. It's really good. Go, 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 go. On the roll. On the roll. Tap this one out and roll in front. That's a nice shot. Yeah, that's lovely. You couldn't really see from the angle of the camera there, but the the stone obviously that they hit was sitting slightly in front, so they were able to hit that one first and then roll back across on top of the red. So this is what Germany were trying to do to Team White and the first uh, the first stone that they just played. So um, there's Ross doing it back to them. So Germany need to hit this yellow high, so they can't roll in behind the guard here. They're going to have to hit it high, and that will force their red stone. Um, across the house and they'll probably lose that back red as well so the this will be interesting to see if they get this right if they do catch it too high on the nose or they roll the, or too much on the high side then uh, the, the yellow will stay and they might even lose their own shooter and that's oh exactly where he didn't want it oh it looks like it's springing though nope. still went even though he hit the yep. wrong side Look, that's so well, got away with that one. Anyway, advantage back to Team White. He now got his corner guard. He put up early for this very purpose to try and bury one round there. Make it difficult for Harsh to get rid of it and hopefully set up a two. 
That yellow out um, at the back there, I would call it a slip fielder. You see the one that's out of the house on the left, so if he gets half round this yellow, that other one could come into play because Germany try and get rid of it and they could actually lock it on there. So what's known in the game is a slip. I agree, can go. Cricketing terminal. Oh, I, okay. I'm afraid that was. Uh, <laughs> I haven't used that one, I'm not much of a cricketer. Our line. But they're sweeping hard on this. Oh, 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 they're saying oh, for line, oh, it looks oh. like Ross is calling them off. I think no, it's. Yeah. Oh, just let him down, just let him down. They're struggling with their weight here. Hit. We've had one through the back and now we've got one six feet short. So, you know, I've got quite a big target. They've got you know, three, four feet plus sweepers. Maybe aiming at eight, ten feet here. But unfortunately, we we'll need to get on top of this draw weight if we're going to be scoring. Yeah. Good, good chance for Germany here to force the one. Uh, maybe even steal, Fun I think, uh, with the corner guards. And obviously, they're looking to get one buried round there. Um, and. Uh, Leave the centre open, you know, it gives Ross the opportunity to score a one. Um, but, uh, and force that, uh, stop another blank happening. And I think that would be a good result for Germany. That's what would they, they would want at this stage. I think that would be good for them. Lots of communication here, oh. lots of noise, and normally super. means the stone's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and the sweepers are on and off and on and off, that's really close to the guard, that's lovely. That needs to sit top D. It looks like it's just going to be a fraction heavy, and that's not ideal for them. They wanted to sit that above the T line. Yeah, but I think they were sweeping to get past the yellow, so a bit of caught in between, had to sweep it to get yeah. past, but knew if they did you it was going to be a bit deep, so they'll take it's it. It's not the end of the um, world. But yeah, Ross has still nice. got to play a good shot here, and Team White have been struggling a little bit with their weight, so let's see how they get on here. And you see uh, James Craig in the head there for Ross. Normally, traditionally, you would have the vice skip at third, which is Duncan uh, Nick Fadgen's position. Uh, but... Uh, Teams have a, a chat about all these positions now, and uh, it's not uh, a given that your skip um, even throws last stones anymore. A lot of the time, uh, as we see from the the, the national team in the Switzerland, from Dean De Cruz, um, Peter De Cruz plays second stones but skips the rest of the game, um, and Benoit Schwartz throws close, the last stones. Yep. So seven. Yep. Whoa. Seven. Whoa. the teams uh, oh, yeah. are able to pick yeah. these positions now, and they're. Oh, oh, oh. And get used to playing oh how they nine. like to play and Whoa. they obviously yeah. want Duncan to maybe he's better at sweeping or James is better at line calling the German lead was standing with his finger in there signalling to the third at the far end that the stone was heavy he timed it from T to Hog signalled that it was heavy telling him to get ready to sweep so yeah. his timing was spot on on his stopwatch yeah the Germany here we go Let's put another one in and see yeah, if we force Team White to draw against two. But I would say we lay another second one in, then we have to lay more. You have already played the same game. So we'll just decide where to put this. And I think they're yeah, trying to put another one yeah, around the guards here, here. maybe yeah, nearer, okay. a bit nearer the centre. Yeah, I think that would be ideal if he puts it on top of the sort of L of Live there that we can see. That's also good! And force Team White to draw the... Yeah, touch the forefoot with his last shot to Weiß der Gelbe oder die Guard? Weiß der Gelbe? Nee, ja, der Gelbe weiß, aber wie soll er an den Rand kommen? Mit dem Run back da mit Hackway vielleicht. 620. And I got a 620 there. 620. I know what 620 means. Nur Länge! That's about as far as my German goes. Oh, you did me. <laughs> I got, oh, did that touch a stone? Oh, something. Yeah, there was something fell on the ice earlier, but because if that, anything of the, the throwing team's equipment falls and touches a stone, the stone would be deemed as burnt. Bobby, we have to be taken off. But obviously, they didn't think it did, so. Yeah, and I think the, the opposition team have the, the option to do that or the, the team that just played the stone have the option to call that burned um, but uh, I have seen them left on even if it has been an infraction and, and unless they call in a, 
an umpire, um, and unless it's a definite, uh, the both teams saw it or yeah. called it, then uh, a lot of times these things just get that get left. But yeah, so here we technically go. speaking, that should have been Team White off. have to hit um, or out count the red. They've got to be fully in the white and almost touching the forefoot. So probably it's been a bit of a challenge this end because they've had quite a number short and one or two through here. So let's see how Ross gets on with this one. Sweepers like it. Line's nice. I like. Legs okay. Heads up. Legs okay. Yeah, the line's okay. The sweepers are all over it. They're keeping it moving. Need to get that right into the, right, the grey there. Gosh, this is running quite go. straight, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Probably because they're sweeping it so hard. Keep going. It's, it's going to be close. Go, 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 go. It's going to be close. No, nope. I think it's falling. Right. Yeah. Have they got it? Well oh, swept. Oh, guys. Well swept. Goodness. Yeah. Really I think Ewan run out of puff right at the end there. I don't think he was going to. It was going to go that far, but yeah, that yeah, couple extra okay. sweeps from Dunk looks like it got it got yeah, shot. So and maybe that's why Duncan sweeping is it? It could well be. It could well be why he's not vice scout. <laughs> you need him on the brush. So one nil after three end low scoring. Um, but it shows you the advantage of having last stone. Like he's controlled. Really tried to control the first three ends here, being aggressive. So. Now it switches over. Harsh has got last stone. Um, I'm thinking that Team White will go aggressive through a centre guard here and try and get the play into the middle when they haven't got last stone. Yeah, we've not really had any play around the middle yet, and uh, Harsh has really kind of thrown these stones, initial stones into the house, whether he meant to or not, in the first couple of ends. Um, whether it was on purpose, but uh, they've not really put any centre guards up. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, develops and if they keep, keep going with the the corner guards as well. So out the corner of your eye you maybe saw um, the score on sheet C, it's um, another young Scottish team, Gau, are playing a um, team from Russia and the score on that one's 2-1 after three ends to Team Russia. So quite a few young Scottish teams because in the sheet next door we've got um, Team Kinnear, another what you get? Two. Junior based team. Three. Most of these guys are still the juniors Three. against a, a seniors team from Sweden. Indeed. Ex world champions. Lines okay. Don't close. Get it sent line. Don't yep. Don't close. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I think, uh, I think that's that's something that's great about this tournament and curling in general is that you know you can you can have these teams play each other and it's uh you know that either team can win you know it's I don't think it's much uh, of an advantage being the young team and being more powerful necessarily or having the old heads and the, and the tactics and the experience uh, you know it's it's a bit of a leveler so yeah I think uh, it'd be a good match up all around but yeah it's one of these sports you can play for uh, as long as you're fit for, for longer than some other sports yeah. So as we thought, uh, centre guards up, so we're going to have an aggressive hard. end here. Yeah, hard, go! Click and jump! I was trying to come round it, but this looks short as take. well, so straight away. Take and take and take and take and take. Oh, okay. and play them. Had the oh, it's a long time. Yeah, and then harsh there. Oh, trying to come round that centre, uh, interestingly, trying to get first round and top of the forefoot, but just a little bit short, and now there's two centre like guards. Do you just come and run R1? I was just on the same side for you. I can't like go that normal. Yeah. Your internal got good curl as well. Should curl the same angle. Do we go around there? It kind of gives him a chance here. Right? Not yeah. sure what that meant. Your internal get good curl. Do you <laughs> think he maybe ducks it in a bit when he throws this one? Oh, I wouldn't. I, I couldn't possibly comment. I right, can go. Dog five. Everybody four, watching the handle and turn it intently there and yeah, see if that's what he did, but no. I think it may just be this side of the sheet, yep. and you do find Hard. that sometimes as you'll get you more off one Hard. side of the sheet than you do off the other. Off the clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation, but oh. this looks like a little bit short as well, but yeah. might end up helping them. Sorry. Might, might do. The conditions must be a bit tricky because these guys don't normally miss draws. Look like you added a lot. Two already this end, know. missing quite a few last end. So I, yeah. I think there must be tracks and nice from where There's some stones have run and where others haven't. But give yeah. another couple ends, I'm sure that will level itself out. Yeah, it makes it really difficult to judge the, the sweeping and the timing. And you'll see uh, 
Uh, although both the uh, sweepers there have stopwatches, that only usually one of them times the stone these days. One of them is doing it by eye because sometimes the, the thrower can give it a little push and it's faster than the, the your stopwatch would indicate. So they should even each other out when they curl like that. And again, that's another one that's overthrown there, just a little bit much on that. Foot. So Ross just calling to come around. He's picking uh, back to his original side. Yeah. And that means if it is uh, a little bit heavier, maybe uh, coming a little bit deep, you've got that red potentially to come on to. There's another option. I thought we were really nice. Top four, Here we go, lines pass. nice. Here, six. Lines nice. Six is good. Lines big. Seven, six, seven. Oh, six, seven's good. Five, six. Duncan. Five. Duncan. Duncan. Five. Duncan means sweeper on the right. I want this to curl. Go on, move. Hard. Need it to curl Before more. Keep going. Go, go, yep, go. Yep, yep. No, it's not bad. Give it a chance. It looks like he thinks he can, Hush thinks he can get to the inside of this yellow and just tap it wide of the red and then roll in near the centre line there. So maybe a back ring weight being called here. Yeah, no. It's maybe a slightly heavy draw back eight. Just tap that yellow wide and then roll in behind the, no the guards in the centre line. That's no. Bravo. good. No leg and curl. Kick in your head. Why didn't kick? Follow us. Follow us, Bobby. Yeah. Come, yeah. John. Hard. It's not hard. Bad. It's not hard. Bobby, go. The freeze hard. Look again. Get off freeze. Get off freeze. Can't. Oh. Shut. Yeah, that's not bad there. They'll be quite happy with that. I think they've expected a little bit more weight on that, I think, um, to move that yellow uh, if you look into at the third shot. Now, if he does manage to tap that red at the front onto the yellow, it's going to hit half the red at the back and go. So it means you can make a play on that front red if you can see it. So I guess I'm lost now. Yeah, he's called a very similar shot. It's a very similar ice. So. Then turn the right hand out. That's soft right in my hand. Go on, go! Line's nice! Three, four, to four! Oh, four, six! Line's good! Oh! Three, four! Dunk, Duncan's again! Dunk! Four! We're way high! Three, four! Really? Way high! high. Perfect to where you want yours. Well, just find it, but. Cut all. The weight's good, good. good. swinging a lot as it slows down. You can see that, it's almost buried. Now, Jeremy, Team Harsh, what are you going to do? Are you going to open it up? Are you going to try and play again? Auf den Gelben! I would think the last two. Auf den Gelben, da liegen wir gecovered! Get back, Mass! Look at the run back, the red, Gelben. maybe. Yeah, we tap them nur so! Yeah. Yeah. They don't like the angles. Yeah, Nase! Yep, so you can see they're going to open up. When I say open up, get, give him some access to the forefoot if he gets into trouble. Yeah! Hard! 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 Back in a full yellow. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that nearly worked out really well for them, but they're not actually too disappointed with that. I think they no, still got. He's taking the back in for that yellow that's on the forefoot line away now, so it's actually put a bit of pressure on Ross because he could now hit a double on the yellow. It's possible like three here, but anyway, I'm guessing Ross is going to come in and yeah, freeze he's, this one. He's going to have to come in and get second three. shot or at least get another counter in there. The other, the oh, other option oh. is actually just to move things around Where's a little that? bit as well. He could oh, change the angles up and if you want to play something a little bit cuter but yeah. I think if you can come round that even though he's not bad back line yeah it was quite a good call from the German yeah, skip there because he, he said stop swooping he saw there was a possibility that they were a bit tight on that one that it would come back in off the yellow so he did two things he got rid of two guards and managed to get on the red in the house so I know he didn't mean it but it actually turned out a very good shot whoa. yep 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 whoa whoa hack yeah yeah hard 
Decide to move this right out of the house. Whoa. When you have the last on, you don't want to leave too many of the opposition stones lying about the house. So yeah. Good tactics. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. So three yellows in the house and one red now. So. Yeah, so they're going to make a play in the same shot and try and roll behind the guard. Yeah, it's in first and second shot now as well, which is uh, another important thing. Uh, yeah. Because if they hit that top yellow, um, they might take the back That's yellow out, the but they're always still going to sit one shot, and more likely the two yellows it will hang around in second and third. So huh? Either that or he loses his shooter, <laughs> and uh, they can maybe take two <laughs> yellows, but then that doesn't really buy them an awful lot. They still want sit shot after that, so yeah. Good tactical shot, uh, decision there from Ross, and uh, I think the right shot to play. So. Uh, indicating it's heavier than they meant. He's not curling. Just now to try and get to swing. Hard, Yoshi. Come on. Well, it just got past that top yellow and ah. it's rolling out though, so it's not really what they wanted. So what does Ross do here? Guard up, that's what he's looking at. Yeah, I think he's going to guard because there are the chances of coming around that yellow guard himself and lying second shot right there, but he's got the pinpoint. There's this one, he's got a bit of leeway through the guard. Three. Just take that run back off as well. Takes that. Two. Because although picking out that yellow wasn't ideal, it does mean now that they could hit that top yellow and actually sit two shots and get rid of both yellows. So they're just trying to disrupt that shot from being possible now. Just like Yeah. Nice shot. Nice done. Good. So everybody seems happy with that one. Yeah, it's guarding it right in line. That's no good. And they can still see a little bit of that stone, as you can see. You can see the outside of that stone, but um, Ross didn't mind that because then they have to hit it the wrong direction. He just needed to guard that inside line uh, to stop that uh, that run back happening. So, I'm not quite sure what Germany are playing here. Are they going? They peeling that guard? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to open it up and try and run it back. Um, <laughs> take the yellow off the top of the house if they can. If not, then force Team White to throw another guard. Yeah, it's a bit of a shot to nothing this one. If they get the guard, that's fine. If they get the run back, that's even better. Yeah. Whoa! 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 Yeah! yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! yeah. 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 Hard! Yeah. Hard! Ah. Must be close. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. That is a great oh, shot. But, uh, is that going to hang yeah, on? No. The yellow's gone out as well. So. And you can see the German <laughs> sweeper over trying yeah, to sweep that yellow one out of the house, but he can't actually sweep it until it touches that, what we call the T line, the black line across the middle of the house. So that, that was a perfect shot there from uh, Harsh. Perfectly guarded now behind his redstone. Top of the T line. Couldn't have got a better result. Shot's fine, but we need to be buried, really buried to go through the shot. That's fine, even if we do it here, maybe their yeah. shot's gonna tough. Yeah. Just that's Ross uh, saying two that inches wider than He doesn't LSD. mind being shot, that's but nice. actually if he's shot, then there's a possibility that red can be moved onto the yellow, um, and he could lose it too. But I think what he's looking at here is uh, if he can force the, the one, if he can get right around his own yellow guard, sit at the top of the four foot there. Ball. Level yeah, with the red, even. Um, this is quite an aggressive play. Just top, half so and both. If he take take it, takes the guard off here, he's pretty much saying you have to. By it doing here. this, he's trying to say you're only going to get one. But if this yellow ends up in the wrong place, the chance that the, the team Harsh could set themselves up for three. So this needs to be right exactly where he wants it. Behind the yellow, touching the Line good. Thing, go, go. go then. Hard. Why you can go? Uh, looks like they timed that. It's, it's going to be short. It's Line's not going to be big boys. anyway. Line's good. They're sweeping it hard. hard. And they had to sweep his draw hard in the last end to get that one, but I don't think any amount of sweeping is going to help this one. I think the sweepers are saving their energy for another shot. Yeah. Duncan would need another two bowls of porridge this morning to get that one in the house. Yeah. It's 
Sometimes right, just so this to... is the problem with the shot he's just played. Um, he's now set up the chance for Team Harsh to take a three. By taking the guard off, I think he'd have limited them to two, possibly one, depending on how the last guard had gone. But now doing this, if they put one on top of that red, he's in a whole lot of trouble here. Yeah, as you said, Pete, it was an aggressive call uh, when he made it. Um, but when you do those calls, uh, you know, and they, I think you get the shot. It's a, it's a good call. If you're confident, go for it. But the ice conditions looking a little bit tricky. There's not many draws being placed where they want or where they've been aiming for. So for me, the percentage might well be in the Whoa, whoa, whoa! Over to the left. Over to the left. Over to the to the left. Over 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 to no, if this, if this bounces and leaves a double, this could be. That oh, looks pretty good to me. No. It's good. Yeah. Good, yeah, Pasto. Yeah, so, can he get to the nose of that, do you think? No. Hack weight? No. It's pretty much covered, isn't it? Which one do you want? He's Not enough of a swing there. Is there running a hill or drawn round the hill? He's just thrown here. Or yeah. you run a red back, but so you, you run a red back into red, you're likely going to leave one. at least one, if yeah. not two, hanging oh around. Just giving that same pattern. The one you can maybe stick onto the three. Yeah, one you can stick onto the three, seven you can't stick onto the three. Seven's probably easier to make. We're talking contact. one and seven, yeah. I'm guessing it's this is the yellow stones they're talking about, the numbers on the top of them. Yeah, I think so. Stick one onto seven, so they're... On the seventh, yeah. The hair high is close. Uh, so they're running their own yellow back. I think that's if they're going to run anything back, that's probably a better call. Yeah. Difficult to get rid of both of the reds here, though. Hair high, yeah. if I if you can get rid of one. I think damage limitations where we are at the moment with this one. You can hear it. So a big shot coming up here for Ross. In the fourth end. Last yep. yellow stone. Whoa! Yep! Yes! Whoa! It's close. Yep. Whoa! It's close. Whoa! Oh, nearly stuck it. Yeah, I think there's a. Ross was shouting to sweep the it wider to jam it and leave the yellow in the house, and I think um, third player was wanting it to draw a little bit and try and get both the red. So, anyway, good result. That means that um, Team Harsh have a draw for two to take a 2 1 lead in at half time here. And fancy him making this really, he's just played this shot, so. Just needs to curl up like a millimeter yeah. and catch the other one as well. Trying to catch it thin on the 7 1 and hit the 3. Uh, well, that's what I was calling for. That's all he has to do, anywhere. In the house, we call it the touch of the red the ring or anywhere at all. The stone he's throwing touches that, he gets two. Should be a straightforward shot for the skip. I'm not shooting it now. Yeah, just that slightly wider line. I was wondering because you don't want to take tight line, you don't need to be near the guard, but. Yeah, when you take sometimes when you take a wider yeah, line it's a bit of slower yeah. ice but no he's fine there two. yeah good too so 2-1 <laughs> oh, half time, time. Yeah. I'll still to play for and uh, yeah the guys just need to brush up a bit in the draw weight really um, not been putting the stones where they want them and <laughs> therefore uh, I'm talking about Team Y here make, making it quite diff quite easy for um, the German guys to, to pick up a two they didn't really do too much through a few draws in the house yeah but I think uh, equally on the other ends I think Team Harsh have actually been playing quite well and they've made the big shots when they've needed to and to stop them actually going down in the first couple of ends so yeah although that was a reasonably straightforward end from them there and, uh, as you say Team Team White didn't put them under enough pressure there um, they made a, a couple of good shots to take the pressure off themselves as well and that run back being one of the key shots you know to uh, take those two yellow counters out of the house and uh, uh, and that was really what changed the end for them there. Yeah, that slice of luck did change the end, you're right. Yeah. 
Good sir! Hard job! He's okay! He's four feet here. Good we'll shot! Keep the plane Good house sir. now, they've got the lead. Oh, you're back out! Push Team White to the guard. Yeah, let's see this. Mittlere. I give them more ice. Yeah, Bin ich immer eng. Ja, alles gut. Der war jetzt gerade nicht so krass eng wie die anderen. Yoshi? Ja. Ich just drag off the center line there. Nice, nice weight though. Ike, we're there. Six. Eight. Heavy, eight, nine. Nine. Column is eight, nine again. Mark itself. Which is back to eight. It's trying. Looks like it's back ring. And with a good bit of sweeping, this could go right out. Okay. Just hanging on. It's never the worst place, that one. It's, um, it's guarded. It's at the back of the house. So... Team Harsh know it's there. Might be tempted if I was him actually going to tap that out, but now he's been aggressive and going to draw behind the guard. Yeah. You were quite through it, I thought. There was quite a lot of rotation. Lean is okay, no longer. Von 4, von 8. Ja, nur hier hin. Von 4. Yoshi, control it. Hier hin, Költer. Yeah, this one's a better way. Should be sitting yeah. top T, yeah. is it going to get curled oh, round? Oh, oh, oh. Good. Right on the T line, just just slips slightly behind, but right behind the guard there, really good line. Gives Ross something to come to though, I think they would have preferred that another 12 inches further up the ice there, um, would have stopped this shot that Ross is about to play, but they've got, they've got a chance to corner freeze this now. Seven, eight, four, oh, six, four, six, six, second stone. Coming down, Duncan still. Five, six. Okay, get on it. Hard dunk. Hard. Yeah. I like it. Good. Just needs to curl Hard. that a little bit more. Hard. Get right Hard. on the corner of that red stone. Oh, that's pretty good. They'll good like that. Shot there. Yeah. Nice throw. Good communication. Yeah, it looks like they got shot out of that as well. So Germany just looking to bump it, maybe just right on top. Certainly, oh, no. Team Harsh are not um, slow in their decision making. When you look at the time clocks, they've got a long time. Go Lenge! Cut! Hard! Cut! Hard! Cut! Go Lenge! That's good! Lean is good! Hard! Come on, drink it! Hard, hard, Bobby! Hard! Yeah, they're oh, sweeping this hard to get it all the way there. Don't really want this too short, but ah, okay. it's not too bad there. I think they would have preferred it closer, I think. But Ross just see enough of that to chip it out, back ring weight. That's what he's indicating there by tapping the back of the house. He's looking for a weight that uh, would just take the stone to the back of the house, so he's not looking for anything really heavy here. Just right. enough to tick that red out wide and roll his yellow across like to the other side of the house. Mind. James Craig with his first stop. Yep, yep. Hard, hard. Hard, oh. hard it's good. Hard. Hard! Ian having hard to Ian. sweep this one hard. hard get it Ian. past the guard oh, 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 oh. here. They like the weight. Get it rolled, get it rolled, Duncan. Ah, uh, just tick oh, yeah, that guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't leave the double. Okay, that was option two, but it's worked out. I'll okay. show you that Sorry. in the back of his mind. With the weight he called, it's yeah. a little bit tight here. You can check the guard and roll in. So that's actually worked out quite well for him. See it's three yellows now, it's now, so Team Harsher... Tap! Got to be getting a little bit concerned. There's three yellows in here. Back four, he's calling, eight or nine on the weight. So just something to bump that red back 
onto the yellow and just change the angles up a little bit and free it from that Malenga. stone that it's frozen oh, against. So that's the, the difference a really Linea. good sort of stone early on Hard makes Linea. is that you, the, the other team are constantly chasing, trying to work out how they can get to that corner freeze stone because that's the one that's causing them all the problems right now. Okay, that's close. Yeah, that's not bad. They just need to, ah, yeah. I think that's got the angles changed for them nice. Right, nose hit on this and you could be lying four yellows in the house with one red. Interesting, because Team Harsh no, are quite defensive against. the first two or three ends, and they were really aggressive here with that last stone, so... I think if, um, team Y can pull off a oh, good shot, they'll have a big uh, lot of pressure on them. Normal's good. Um, normal. Team Harsh. So he's so calling a... looks like an intern hit, double. Nose hit here. Yeah, they're guarded. Yeah. See the quandary team Germany have now. There's four yellows in the house, and uh, we yeah, don't have the last stone, so the they cannot afford to make any more mistakes, or they're going to be losing a multiple score here. And there's no obvious doubles for them as well. Um, they can run that yellow at the top of the house back, but they're always going to lose their yellow that's in, the, sorry, their red that's in the house, uh, and their one that uh, hits at the top of the house won't actually count. So they'll still be sitting two against. So. You see what they're calling here, Pete? Are they calling the draw round that guard at the top, just onto that yellow? I think they're hitting this uh, one on left. Yeah, double or in off. So looks like a, I'm guessing a barrier hack. Wait at this one, lie about, and if we get the angles right, we can roll into the middle. Control! Yep! Yep! yep. No, oh, he doesn't like it. Oh, it's swinging massive. Yeah. He's gonna, is he, he might even miss the stone, yeah. Swung it right off the stone. Oh. So that was either a really bad throw or a pick up, I'm not sure. It's, a, it's difficult throwing inside out like that. I think um, you don't normally throw stones, you normally throw them on the outside in. And I, and it, they can take a completely different path sometimes, and especially ice that you're not used to. And these guys obviously haven't played down here at Perth uh, much, of, even if before. So um, that's not the sort of shot that they would have enjoyed playing, but I think it was the shot that they had to call. Okay, so Team White are going to split as yellow uh, to give them access to that red at the back. So make the shot five yellows the house red. Get severe pressure in your position. So he's trying Arch. to open up back access to the red one, although it's only one in the house. Arch. It's quite difficult Ooh. to get to at the moment. Arch. Arch. So if we can split Head this down. yellow here All the front. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, looks, this looks very good. Nothing in that one. Sit. Sit down. Is it going to hang around in the house? Ah, oh, it just so creeps out. A bit heavy from Four counters there. at least. Yeah, yeah it's probably four heavier counters. weight than was requested, so... That's unfortunate. I'm not sure he's going to be throwing lightweight with this one. It's double, and if he gets it right, there's a possible triple in the yellows here. Look at that, just off nose, clip the one in the middle, and yeah, take the one in the back ring at the same time. Simple stuff. <laughs> you, don't want to have, you don't want a shot like this for the game. But yeah, I think this is damage limitation now, Pete, isn't it? I think... Uh, yeah, he's, got, he, he's critical, he lies about, because it doesn't remain two reds in the house then he's going to be facing three or four. Yeah, more oh. weight. Yeah, down. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 The count called on the sweeper straight away there. He's not happy again, he's hit it the wrong side. Yeah. yeah. Right. This is double. So this is a chance for four, I think is he sitting sitting second, third and fourth stone at least. Still a few to go, but yeah he can get rid of this red now, I think that's priority and he could lie for. That's what he's looking at now just to see if it outcounts that back one and I think it does. It doesn't, sorry. Yeah, yellow at the back I think is beating the red at the front, so 
it's a shot. But also trying to get a bit of distance between the yellow he's throwing and the yellow he's about to tap onto the red to make it difficult for um, Team Horse to get rid of Nose. two yellows. Yeah. Yep. Nose the hack. hack. Yep. So there's that tap on the foot again. The indication he wanting a hack weight. So it's a down weight shot here. Sweepers will control it. Control the line, so it's all about Duncan's weight. Firm, yep. Firm hack. Hard and skips generally hard. always do hard. shout hard. and hard. make a visual indicator as well. It's very noisy hard. out here when you've got eight rinks on and everyone's hard. shouting all the different uh, keep keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. instructions to their skip Six. and the uh, communication. Hard, yeah, and that's exactly what they wanted. They played that really well. That's worked out. I think he was actually trying to hit that yeah, but further left. But that's worked out spot on for them because no obvious easy shot here for Team Germany and Team Harsh. There's a possible double, you see that one, if you hit three quarters of the middle and roll across and right behind your own red. That's, yeah. yeah, that's what they're looking at now. Okay. Uh, they can turn. That's what we're going to do. Give you the right on the nose, two thirds must be good. So the first of the stones for Sixton Totsik. So you're actually better slightly wider than tight with this one, because if you go wide, you've got a double in the back red, the back yellow. Yellow, yellow, if you go tight and, and roll in. hit that one, you can jam it and and roll between the hole and it could get really messy. Yeah. Yeah, it's going for the double. Ice Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, big weight at this one. Hold it, back it up. Go hard, hard. Well, he's taken out. He's taken his own red out there. Threw an awful lot sorry of weight at that. Yeah, sorry for being critical, but a lot of weight and I think yeah. having on slightly on the wide side than the tight side there, and you still have a double. Anyway, here we go, Ross. You draw one in and half behind the red. I fancy picking out a multiple score. Top eight, really. So this one's down to the sweepers. They've given them the time. Um, Ross will throw it, and then the sweepers will judge where they want this one to land up. Give me a touch more, James. Just looking to get, buried. yeah, just looking to get half round. They don't need to get fully buried, as you just heard Ross say there. Just want to be around that red and not allow a nose hit. Top eight foot somewhere would be lovely. So the first of Ross's stones in the fifth end. Line Top five. eight. Line's fine. Four, five. Five's good. Five, dunk. Dunk. Always dunks. Always dunks. Yeah. Dunk. Dunks means oh. wanted to swing. Get there. it five. Yeah, five. It's well past the guard. This looks good. So we're just whoa, trying whoa, whoa. to just trying to make sure it counts fourth stone. Keep going. Yeah, that's exactly where they wanted it, right behind the guard there. Good stone. Okay, so looks like Team Harsh nominating everybody else. First nominated to draw round now. I would think that's we're going all in if he draws round there. Yeah. Yeah. It's either Adelf, steel one or five. Adelf, if he here lies, makes he four. I would say so. Makes he definitely only three. So we're two behind. Then it's going. And if we do it, then we do it. Or I do it like this. That's the other one, yeah? He's got a few options. That's good. None of them are terribly easy. No, and none of them are very attractive for the last stone when you're sitting against four. As a skip, this is not really what you had in mind throwing the last round. And it was actually a couple of slack shots from the third date. Missed one and then hit one on the wrong side. I think if you could if you could place a stone, it would be behind the yellow that the team white just threw. I think uh, you know and, and get it buried around behind that yellow there yeah. and sit yeah. second shot or at least shot or a shot even. You'd be double guarded in that yeah. case. But it's a risky shot with the ice the way it has been and the draw has not been easy for them to find yeah, up to now. So I think that probably wouldn't be their first choice. At least if you're hitting something, you've got a chance of getting rid of one and you're not losing a five. And it's a little bit more defensive. But yeah, you see this one, he's, he's actually thinking if I can hit two thirds, three quarters of that, then I can roll in with the shooting going. Or if I draw a bit much and hit 
hit it too straight, the then the, the red I'm hitting onto the yellow could roll behind or go across in front of the yellow. It's going to be difficult for Team White to get rid of. So, yeah, I think this is probably the, the higher percentage shot he's going for. Yeah. But you did see um, also three he threw an out turn. Yeah. Looks like he's going to throw the turn this time. Den so hinkriegen, der Rest. The out turn's been drunk quite a bit it's here. Bonus. And it brings a stone into play as well because at the moment it's not counting uh, yeah. until fifth stone. So I think if he can get us bouncing off that yellow and they've got two reds, then it just makes it a little bit harder for Ross to, to get a multiple score out of this. Um, he, could, he could possibly end up lying third Good. and fourth shots here. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Second and third shot, so he gets a perfect angle. So, big shot here. Last stone from oh. Sixton Totsig. Oh. Goodness, this is a big weight. I'm not sure he needed this much oh. weight. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I didn't, yeah. I think I got that, German. Yeah, that was just careless. There's no need to throw that weight. It was all about getting yeah. the right angle with that shot. So and they needed to hang around as well, because I mean, with that weight, you've got to hit it absolutely perfectly. Because if you, you don't get any a margin for error, then you know the down weight, the barrier weight, you can you can afford to be slightly off, and uh, the stone will still hang around. Took the sweepers out of the equation there, which yeah, they're there to do a job. Anyway, here we go. Draw for four. Draw for five. Yeah, it's the Aye. kind of shot you want as a skip. Yeah. Open house draw for five. Well, this would blow the game wide open. Six. If he makes it, it's going to be six two with three ends to go, and yeah. um, big team. big favourites. You know, got back right now. Would become. So he's got backing. backing. We've got backing. Do you need backing? Oh, right. No. We're fine. We're fine. Don't need it. Should Do we need good. it? No. Right on the button, is yeah, it? Just right. back four. Yeah, it's fine. So, five scored. Fünf. Fünf scored. Well done, Pete. <laughs> she said you couldn't speak German. So, big five in the fifth end uh, for Team White. As you say, takes that to 6-2. And on the other games on the sheet C, we've got um, Vaskov 4, Gau 1, so Russia beating Scotland there. We've got Rana 3, Kinnear 3, so that game very tight. That's the seniors versus the Swedish seniors. Don't think the fifth end's gone up yet. No. It was uh, Vrana with Hammer, uh, and it looks like they scored, so scored they must be just taking the lead. We don't know if it's by one or two yet. But. Bryce beating um, up on Gempler, 3-2 after 5, and I can't quite see the score on the last sheet here. So here we are, the first stone of the 6th end. So this is definitely going in the house. Team White now 6-2 up, they don't want short stones, they want everything in the house. So they Hit the opposition yep. stones. Top four boys, nine's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get yeah, top four boys. So yeah, it's going to be a yep. difficult yep. run in now for Harsh, I think. Harsh, as far as I'll go, I think he just needs to lose one more end, and then I think that would be it. Ah, it sorry. Yeah, I think so. uh, you can bump it. So yeah, just as this end gets going, um, just a, a reminder of the sponsors we have here at the Perth Masters, um, Mercure Hotels obviously, have oh. been a major sponsor here for a number of years uh, and ah, very important in being able to Six bring all these top teams to Scotland Six and Perth to curl. Uh, in association with Perth and Kinross Council, Perth Honda, Ernside Yoshi. Coaches, another local firm. Live yeah, Active Kotze, Leisure, Kotze. who um, ah. manage and run the ice rink now in Perth, uh, along with World Curling Tour and the World Curling Federation. So a big thank you um, from the committee and everybody to these sponsors and associations for making ah. this competition possible. Yeah, absolutely. So second stone here from Ewan. 
Got his first one almost perfect. He was, uh, I think they're being overcritical when they didn't get that top four foot, but they'll be happy with it uh, in the eight foot now. You can afford to be overcritical when you're four shots up with the plate. Yes, I'm thinking most of these guys probably quite a quiet sure. year when they're coming to Curl in Perth on the 3rd of January. Um, most of them probably travelling on the day or on the 2nd. Yep. So they've probably tempered their celebrations over New Year. So we're right on the, the sheet next door. Um, Rana did score a one, so he's now 4-3 up on Kinnear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, so you see tactics here. Um, as I said, White, he's got his multiple. Oda lange, he's got Oda lange. He wants to keep the game in the house. Harsh, um, wants to try and score two or three now, so he's throwing guards up. So still not allowed to move those guards, and I'm, he's going to put another one front rank. Of three yellows, so that means it's going to be difficult for the team harsh to remove three yellows and score a two or three themselves. Yeah, and this is and this is where really where the five rock rule was introduced. I mean, when the team gets its nose in front like this and they get two or three ahead, um, you know they would be hitting guards now. Um, and uh, obviously with this fist stone they can't um, and I think it's also difficult I gave it a lot, with this fist stone when you're the team that are up where do you put it you know, do you put a third one in the house do you try and come round the guard and call the bluff on the on the attacking team I think this is really where uh, where it's made a difference to the game and, and tactics as well um, and this, it, when it is this exact situation yeah I think it, you're right it's changed the dynamics and it's a learning curve for everybody what, what works best for us what are what my team best at, is it hitting or drawing or guarding? Uh, and you're right, previously before the five stone rule, one, one good double of the guards, um, the second player or the third player, and the end was over. So now, as you can see, Ross White's team played three really good shots and got lined up here. So Harsh is going to, going to have to draw around. So try and freeze that back one. It uh, just bind the six two. Six 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 yeah, well, he's definitely not going around any of these corner Cut. guards. Cut. Cut. Lange is good. Lange, Lange, you now freeze. Hang right. Oh, oh, oh. Lange Lange. Lange. oh God. God, it's a fierce draw. It's nine. I called it. Was? Yeah, it's just not going to draw that yellow, so not ideal. Good effort, good effort, but ideally it needed to be about six inches over to the right as we're looking at it. So this will give Probably hack. James a chance. So you see he's going aggressive here. The, the other option, you can hit the red and roll in front top of your yellow, or you could hit half of that red on the white side and spin it all the stones out behind the tee. Um, which might be the favourite ah, options yeah, for some teams. Whoa. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's looking to Whoa. come on top of that yellow, like you say, Three. which is a bit more aggressive Three. at this stage. I think he's maybe thinking that just puts on Five. a lot more pressure. Whoa. Yep. Harsh. Yeah. Hard. 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 I think they're maybe trying to get in yeah. for their stovies nice and early. Uh, two yellows behind the tee. Mm. <laughs> I think we'll laugh. You're not really wanting to leave too many of your own stones behind the tee because they're, they're backing for the opposition. So, yeah, it was a good, a good aggressive call. Rolled six inches less. It was perfect. Yeah. Captain Tick. But it's still a really hard shot for Team Harsh here because they've got to clear that top red guard. I'm not Minya. It's okay. Minya, Minya, Blood. Oh no, Minya. Enough. Minya. Enough. Yeah, Minya. Hard for me! Hard for me! Go, go, I'm not sure I'm a fan of throwing corner guards and then not actually making use of them. I mean, where did they think those three yellows were going to go? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to throw corners, at least hit something and roll behind it or something, you know, or run it back. But I think throwing them. Uh, it's learning. I'm guessing these guys, you said they've played at Europeans and they've played at a decent level. But, um, Curling, like most sports, you learn from your mistakes. And you learn from what you do right and wrong. So if that hasn't worked for them, I'm guessing it's a tactic they might not employ again or they might be through a centre guard because you're right, we've, we've now got two red guards which ultimately are not in play and have been wasted. Where 
Bounce off the one in four. Hard! Whoa! 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 Whoa. Whoa. Aye, nice dunk. Yeah, nice shot there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I wasn't sure how wide Trouble we were. No. Was like, bounce off the one in the oh, four foot and get it over. Yeah, we're going to have to start moving some yellows now. You must do it, huh? Start bringing those guards into play maybe as well. With a lift and a double. So here's Harsh with his first stone. Sixth end. Hard. Looking to yep. take out a couple of these yellows and roll in behind his own guard there. Well, he got a couple of yellows. But he didn't get the roll he was looking for, which uh, it's okay. Still not counting though. No, a nice wee hit and roll off this ride in front of the yellows, and there's a lot of pressure again on Team Germany. Yeah. It's just everything's so hard from now on, I think going to have to make a lot of really good shots to get their two out of this and I don't think they'll be I don't know if a one's going to be enough for them I think they're going to need a two they're going to need a multiple score here and it's not looking, not looking set up that way it's going to be very difficult to get to here I think so I'm just looking at the draw the winner of this game um, goes on tomorrow at 10.45 against Wallstad, who's a Norwegian team, been at uh, Europeans and Worlds now. So whoever wins this game is going to have a tough one tomorrow against uh, Wallstad. Yeah, who's going to be well rested as well. <laughs> Don't know if he's playing, is he playing or not? Uh, no, he's seeded, so he's obviously, he's going to buy through the first round. So he, he doesn't play this first round. Mein erster Draw im Spiel. <lacht> Absolut keine Ahnung, aber ich glaube, zu langsam kann ich ihn nicht spielen, oder? <lacht> Bei den Wischer nicht. Und der Loser, actually, doesn't go on to 2 o'clock tomorrow, so... Ignorant, das ist abartig. You can get a long line, not that anybody's looking to do that. <lacht> no. No, I wouldn't... Uh Oh, they say sometimes it's uh, better to lose one game uh, in this triple knockout format without the B-Road and... Like you say, you, you can maybe miss uh, the odd session here and there. You play out more games, but it's difficult going straight through on the A road. Oh, the sweepers are thinking this is heavy, so... Mm. Okay. Nice. Uh, struggled a bit last couple of ends, yeah. the third player. Really Hanging on at the back. Well. Right, another one in front, or to be drawn? Yeah. Let the draw in. It's probably the right call. Do you think? Put one there, stop them drawing round it. Because if they play the intern draw into the back yellow, they're not going to lie short. So. Yeah. I was, I was. Yeah. My only thing was, if you can try and split these ones, then that's you can't get there. It's basically even if he does get there, do you leave back there? He's blast that. And you got he three counters beating that one. He, he blasts that? No, we would. Okay, so we've got oh, a team we meeting there, here. Sorry. If we go there, then he's going to hit you try there. That's his only next shot. And then we've got that. Guard, 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 same as That's fine. That's what I wonder if you can try and split. Yeah, and sometimes uh, when you you're up like this and uh, the other team's chasing it, you could actually do more damage with your stone sometimes when you're sitting well, and you can put it in a bad place and a good place for the other team. And so that's what they're trying to avoid now. They're trying to see what the other team want and what uh, what would be good for them, and then uh, essentially avoid that. Just keep yeah, it's good they all get involved there, and listen to each other, and the decision is we want to come in top eight, top four, stop the out turn draw in, and that if um, the opposition do play an in turn freeze, we still that shot and we can guard it. And yeah, looks like what they're going for here. Yeah, the 
do encourage that a lot these days in the, the academies and in the sessions and the coaching. You know, they make it make it is a team game, and it's not all about the skip making the decision. Oh, hey. Line's nice to go. They've all got a collective opinion, and uh, some more than others. We're high. You in? You in? But they all need to be heard, and I think uh, there. It's ultimately healthy for the team to Arjun. know that they've all got a voice. Arjun! Because they all win together and they all lose together. Keep going! Whoa! Keep Whoa! Going. Whoa! Whoa! You're fine. That works. I've played with some skips in the past who might disagree with your philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm right behind you. That's <laughs> <laughs> that ended up in a good place because they yeah. really yeah. hope can uh, yeah. Team Marsh do now. Even if they take a double in line, they're aligned two against. I'm not sure it's helpful. And is the guard taking off that draw around the outside? So their red guard is actually is that to that back yellow? Yeah. The only shot draw wise, I think it's an intern draw to that back yellow, but. Oh! Nee, it's kein drag effect, oder? I'm looking at the drag effect that I hear there. I don't know if there's German for drag effect. I think that sounded like English. But I think they're maybe seeing if they can drag that back and maybe move that back, uh, that back yellow if they can throw a big weight. Yeah, we know Toxic likes that. Uh, I'm not sure these two stones are close enough to talk about a drag effect. Yeah. The drag effect means um, a stone. The two stones are close together. The momentum of the stone the opposite goes out the other yeah, side the so the stone can take off at a different angle than you would think it might but yeah normally they have to be locked together for that to take effect when there's the distance between the stones it's all geometry at this stage hope they were all listening at school because there's a lot of angles involved here Ich würde sagen, unsere beste Chance ist der. Okay, und dann beim letzten entweder über den schießen oder über den schießen. Peel Nase intern. Intern, oder? Sixten. Intern ah. peel. I no, got we, that. Yeah. We, we saw the intern <laughs> peel last time. <end. laughs> <laughs> Didn't really work out so well for them then, yeah. but just third time lucky. Yeah, it's hard time. Yeah. Gonna need to move a lot of granite though. Yeah, genau. Nee, ich weiß nicht, ob einer geht. Oh, a wobble, which yeah. is not good, it means you slow the balance. Nice positive release on it too. Oh, not sure the sweeping's doing an awful lot for them here. Oh, and they just took one stone yeah, there. Okay. Didn't move nearly enough. I don't really see what shot he's going off his last yeah. one here, because if Ross can put this yellow guard where he wants it. Would. If you like that, yeah. I gave you there last too time. Sure sure how can get. Yeah, it looks like a guard. They're just going to re replace that I'll just in the right hand side of the center line like there. That. Put that guard back, guard those two yeah. yellow stones in the forefoot. And like you say, what do they right get? I don't perfect. know what they've got after that. It's, it's going to be difficult to get inside it. You have to run something back or yeah. angle in a red or Absolutely. something crazy. It's funny this this game. Um, Harsh yeah. gets two oh, and then uh, went ultra the aggressive and right. N5. Five. Lines Lost the five. We don't want and and the the have a triple for his off again. This end. So yeah. Yeah. To be fair, White, yeah. Team White have been putting their stones in the right place. They've, they've got the draw weight uh, better than they did have the first three or four ends, and that's I think going to be quite a difference. Yeah, I think it was all, we made a, fr uh, a few shots in the first three or four ends, uh, harsh, and they were, they were looking quite comfortable, but like you say, it's that one end, they just didn't get a couple of shots go their way, and a couple of big weights at the end, those last two stones from uh, Totsik just really didn't uh, come off and allowed that five to be scored. Don't touch it. So there we go, I think that's pretty much where he wanted it. So can you yeah. draw through that gap on the intern mm. to the fourth? I don't know. He's yeah. going to have to try. Oh. Yeah, it came across a little bit more than they would have liked. They would have liked that a little bit closer to the centre line, I think. And but, yeah, that's, I think that's all they've got. No choice really here. Oh, nothing. That's the centre line! Okay. 
So even if he cuts it down here to one or two, but I think if the if Ross scores at all here, I think you might see a shake of hands. Yeah, I think there's very low margin for error in this shot. It's certainly not the sort of shot you want to be playing as a skip when you're six to down. So it's going to have to be good communication between the sweepers, the third player and the skip. The line is absolutely critical in this one. Um, and the weight, man. They can't touch any of these yellows now, and they're going to be losing the ball. Hard flats! Minutes go, Yoshi! Bobby! No longer, Bobby! Bobby. Get off the top! Linie is perfect! No longer! Line's perfect. No longer! Linie, 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 Linie! Yeah, it's all about the weight. Hold it, yeah! Hold it, hold it! Come on, go! Oh, is it overcurled? No. Weiter, weiter, weiter! No, it was a good effort. Great effort. A really good effort, but it's two stones. I think we might eat two. Have we seen the gloves come off? Over and out. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So that's it. Ends in the sixth end. A two to Ross White. Puts it out of sight for uh, Team Harsh. Um, being 8-2 down with only two ends left to play. So uh, I think it was just all going to be a bit too much at that point. Even with the five rock rule, I just don't think anyone's coming back from that. So No, no, they've done the right thing. Let's go off the ice, regroup. No point in playing anymore. Um, they've got another game tomorrow, so they can debrief and see where they went right and where they went wrong in that one. And as I said, um, Team White now advanced to play Team Wallstad from Norway tomorrow at 10.45. Uh, and Harsh, he goes down to the B road. So being that it's a triple knockout, he only has two lives left for his Team White still have three. So a good result for Team White. Struggled team. a bit early on, but came on to form and uh, ends five and six and wrapped up the game quite quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Good team performance there from uh, from Team White. They'll be really happy with that. It'll be a good debrief after. It's always a, it's always a much better debrief when you win. Um, and uh, I've still a few things to take from the game as well, but um, I think they all played, uh, played pretty well. And Team Harsh won't be too disappointed. They had one bad end. Uh, and I think that's uh, that just killed the game for them. And here we are. With a little, few highlights from the game. From White v Harsh. Here at the Perth Masters. Sponsored by the Mercure City Mills Hotel in Perth. And there was, there was a few things to cheer about early on. From Team Harsh there. But uh, it wasn't all bad. But uh, I think just a couple of loose stones towards the end there in the fifth end. With the skips, Thomas uh, Totsik, the substitute skip, came in at the last minute and uh, just really didn't get grips to the, with the ice with those heavy weights. And we were discussing about throwing weight just that little bit too heavy. That's when they scored their two on the fourth end there. And there's Duncan looking very despondent. It wasn't all bad, Duncan. It wasn't all bad. So next game that will be covered will be at 8.30 this evening. Um, your commentators this evening will be David Hay and Alan Chalmers. I think everybody in the curling world knows who David is and... Alan has uh, curled quite a bit uh, locally in Perth, a uh, member of the Musketeers, uh, and playing in the seniors again this year. So you've got a couple of knowledgeable guys who will be taking you through this evening's game. And that game's on at half past eight, uh, and there'll be another live stream for that at 8.30. Okay, well, that's uh, going to wrap it up there from us here in Perth uh, for the, the curling tonight. Thank you very much uh, for watching and watching along and uh, hope to join you in the, the next game at half past eight. Thanks very much. Bye.